Um, and, uh, wow. So has everyone recovered from yesterday's battle? I'm still reliving it. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was insane. Oh man. Well, um, tonight I thought we could just sort of jump right into it, uh, where we left off, um, um, and see how far you guys can get, uh, this evening, the time that we have, if that sounds good to everybody. Yep. Sure. Yes, why not? Sure. Cool. Um, I think we left off last time, although the, the, um, the log doesn't seem to show it, which is a little weird, but I thought that we had left off with Furbus having the next action, which is also what the turn order says. Mm, yes, I, I think so. we are there. Yeah. yeah. So, um, as everyone will recall, you're, you're in the fort and uh, you've just been swarmed by these um, kind of a horde of zombie-like um, nymphs that, that seem to have, uh, they're, they're being transformed into some sort of other kind of creature that is far more hideous than their original. Uh, quite beautiful form, no longer. <laughs> okay well jumping right into it uh actually this is stupid but i'll try it uh Fervous bear is going to take well a bear step back and then <laughs> attempt to run towards the zombies and do a body slam wow like, mm. just slam my body into that guy. I don't know. Would that right. make sense? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Charging bear. With the yeah, I don't know. Well, technically, yeah. So the bear doesn't have a charge thingy, so I'm not sure. Okay. I guess. Um, oh, okay, I so you're sort of looking for guidance on that? Yeah. Um, what would you like me to roll? <laughs> All right, well, it's going to be strength-based. Um, okay. I think probably a strength versus um, their dexterity opposition to see if they were able to skirt aside. What's yeah. your intent? Are you trying to hit the first one or are you trying to plow right through the row? Uh, well, I'm trying to, well, try to cover at least two of them like the okay. two ones in the front i'll just i don't know try to pounce on them yeah. somehow i don't know i guess i guess let's try this so the first one um it'll be your strength versus its dexterity the second one same thing but you'll be at disadvantage because you're cool, cool, cool. going through the first one the first and the second one will have seen the first one sort of sounds this. fair it's uh fair. um and then so for damage um it'll be improvised weapon uh so 1d4 um, but for that attack, I don't know if we've got anything else you can do, but no. they have a chance of going prone. Let's say if they fail, I don't know, I guess, um, uh, let's, let's be fun here. So if they fail with, with uh, five or below, they'll be prone. Um, uh, no, sorry, if they, if they, it's going to be an opposition, right? So if they are, um, and you'll have your strength modifier. So let's, uh, if they roll a bit, um, with a greater disparity between the check of a 10 or more, okay. then they will be prone. A 5 or more, and they'll have a disadvantage on their next one. Uh, that sounds fair to me. All right. Uh, and athletics. if you critically fail, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll play it out. Go for All it. Right. Uh, can it be athletics or just straight up check? Uh, yeah, it can be athletics. Yeah, no, okay, athletics cool. makes sense. Sure. Uh, okay, that's a 15 then. Okay. Uh, because of where are they? Uh, Xperia. Oh, they actually are not all that dexterous. Um, okay, here we go. So the can do tweets. There we go. Nice. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Um, so forget That's the first good. one. So the first one got a 15, the second one got an 11. Okay. Um, so the first one uh, did not, um, was able to sidestep the attack. Good. Um, the second one is also, was, oh, I'd say, the second one did not sidestep it. So you can do your 1d4. Okay. Um, but the, but did not miss it so badly that uh, they have a adverse effect. 
Got it. That's fair enough. 1d4 plus strength? Yes. Okay. So that one takes 7 damage. And I am... You crush it. You crush it. You I land on top it. of it. You sort of oh. push the first one aside, and the second one is, is crushed, and you are now occupying its space. Okay. Uh, so move forward to... Back like here? Yes. Okay, it's fine. Okay, and that's basically... I, I just used my whole turn to do this. Okay. So you got one. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, cool. That was fun. Uh, next, the one that you just went uh, barreling past um, yeah. now is sort of like spinning in place. Like, Whoa, that was a very large bear. And it's just going to turn around and... and Try to scratch it. Mm -hmm. uh, Needs to hit a fourteen. Okay. Unless I'm prone. Uh, no, you're not prone. You didn't okay. So, um, so it does a nine. So I think it misses. Nine to hit. Uh huh. So miss, I assume. Yep. Okay. Um. <clears throat> This is at you and sort of glares at you yep. menacingly. Um, then the one in front of you that uh, is in the door is shocked to suddenly find a very large bear in front of it. Um, also takes a swipe at you. Uh -huh. um, that goes it, through. It, yep. Goes through. Okay. A four, four slashing damage. Okay. Oh. Got it. Um, there's another one behind that clamors forward on top of this one, trying to get at you, sort of like you know, like zombie fashion, crawling yep. over the top of the other one. Yep. It manages to get next to you here, um, uh -huh. provokes an attack of opportunity from the one that it pissed off crawling over. Um, so he lashes out at it. Wow. Uh, that was this one. Oh, wait, what? They're fighting yeah, between yeah. each other? It, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's new. It bites this one. Oh, oh, and it, it, um, it kills it. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's and interesting. Like, it ripped a, a chunk out of its neck as it's crawling on top of it. And, oh. Uh, and, uh, Maybe we didn't need to attack these guys. Yeah, just let them fight it out at this yeah. point. Um, all right, that is that one. Uh, I'm missing, I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's this one. All right, now the one in front of, um, of, uh, I'm gonna write name tag in front of me here. Um, in front of Eleanor goes forward and he's only able to make it to about here. And, um, it, it, oh, you know what? It doesn't see. Eleanor, you're hiding, right? So it doesn't yeah. see you. Yeah. You can tell that it doesn't see you. It's just sort of like glaring around the corner and sort of getting an eye on Elvin. And that's it. It's Molly's turn. Okay. Mm. So, well. I guess mm, I will move here <laughs> and, well, I guess shoot a firebolt here. Okay. Sorry, I'm opening my character. There are so many things in the hands out. Okay, there, there I am. Uh, okay. Sorry, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I like it. Just uh, I think I'm going to create some more foolish for you guys. So this is the five volt, and I think I hit seventeen. Yes, you hit seven and damage. It's half of that, and That's then good. um, I will move my. My first spirit here, and. 
fire seat, this one. Okay. Um, is that a ranged attack? It is. So it should be a disadvantage in this case. Yeah, uh, you'd probably be. So then maybe it's not um, a smart idea. Yeah. But uh, I will check later. Uh, yeah, it's a range of attack, definitely. So you, you, can, can, you can move after attacking, right? You can move after attacking, yes. Oh, okay, so it's a fire seed and hits. 21. Okay. You hit. And so, that sets a second seven damage to by two, right? It's another three. And that one, so like these two bolts of fire streak out, hitting it, one in the head, one in the chest, and it goes down, singed Good. and smoldering. And then I move it here. And that was my activation. Great, okay. Elvin. Um, yeah, I'm going to progress uh, up uh, to the north. Uh, until I have a line of sight, roughly here. Uh, yep, that's fine. And then I will uh, um, fire an arrow at uh, this thing uh, when I see it. Okay, go for it. Uh, hold on, I have a um, longbow. It hits or piercing? For piercing. All right, you hit it. Uh, square in the stomach and it's squealing in pain um, but nice. it's still standing um and i'll stay where i am at the moment i'm uh, reading uh, another arrow okay very good um Illinois. <clears throat> okay i'm going to attack the same uh thingy so i'm going to attack with my short bow yep. from hiding yep um, so a 19 for uh, bursting. Piercing. 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 Straight, hitting it straight between the eyes, and it flies backwards into the rubble behind, disappearing somewhere in the darkness. Hmm. Uh, and you could tell by the damage you did that you're you're quite sure if you you killed it. Okay. I guess sneak attack was not needed then. Um, okay, well, I mean, I'm not sure the guys need my help, but I'm going to move down. Just remember, that'll be difficult to rain those two squares in front of you. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm, I'm doing, like, I'm going like this, let me draw this one. So, I'm going around Elven, basically, so I, this is one, two, three, four, five, because I can move 25 feet, so I will end up here, basically. So it'll be double, so each one's 10, so each one's basically, uh, instead of being 10 feet, it's 20 feet square for you. So two, so that's three, four, that's 20 feet, right? After no, because each one of these squares is normally, is now 10, is 10 feet, if you oh. check that measurement. So oh, you can okay. only go to one more square from there, there. I think so like this? I think, like only, I think you can only go to there, yeah. Oh, that, that'll 20. be 20. Or can you do 30 feet? If you can do 30 25. Feet, uh, no, that's as far as you can go then. I jump, I'm not sure. I, oh, yeah, yeah, because you're a half elf, right? Or half I have jump, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Second story work? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. <laughs> yeah. okay. You could do uh, bonus action, right? Yeah, I can do bonus action. Uh, the, what's it called? The mm -hmm. cunning action thingy? Um, cunning action allows me to dash. Oh yeah, you can dash then. Uh, I can dash, I guess. Yeah, so you can do another 25 feet and make it 30 because you didn't use half the feet. So you can do three more squares. Uh, one, two, three. Cool. Okay. Done. That's my All day. All right. First, back to the bear. All right. Let's do some bear foo. Uh, I have a macro for this. Oh, nice. Um, so let's see. 20 to hit. Well, I guess I bite him then for 11 damage. Where's the 20? I don't see the 20 to hit. Ah. So it says rolling 1d 20 plus 6, 14 plus 6, so that's a dirty 20. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I just I just rolled the whole thing in one, so it's just three attacks, just one in one macro. Oh, so 
Oh, I see. I see. I have to go way back up here. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Sorry. So it's like, path, yeah, because it then, breaks it up, unfortunately. Oh, I see. So you got a bite and then a claw and then a karate? Yep. But I, I guess the bite is enough. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just want to understand this little note for the future. So the first hit yeah. was a 20 to hit, 11 damage. Yep. Then 10 to hit. Yep. And 12 damage if it, if it hit. And then 12 yep. to hit. So, got it. Okay. Yep. So the 20 to hit. 30, 20, 11 damage, yes. And uh, you, what was that? What was that, a bite? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried to bite his head off or something. All right, Des describe what happened. Uh, I place my bear jaw on his head gingerly, and then I bite it off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you tear it from its shoulders. Yep. Yeah, well, basically, I could put both paws on each shoulder and just... <sighs> I think I saw that in a nature film once. Yep. <laughs> okay. Is there a jazz of blood uh, spitting out of a uh, neck? <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but that's what I imagined. So I probably <laughs> moved his spine together with his head. Is probably covered in... Oh, by the way, um, you do notice, uh, I guess, service, you'd be perfect for this. Roll perception. Oh, boy. Everybody. Uh, uh, let's start with Provis and then because he's he sort of right in the, the heart of what uh -huh. this is. Based, based on sight? Uh, yeah, based on Okay. okay. <clears throat> and it's uh, normally lit at, the, at this yeah, time. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. So, what strikes you is that the blood spurting out covering you is particularly dark and thicker and, mm -hmm. you know, just, just like. This dark, sticky ichor, um, <coughs> not the blood of a normal um, humanoid creature. Weird. Um, one second. Oh, I guess I have movement left. Uh, well, can I fit through that door? Yes, you can fit through that door. Um, I'll give it a difficult train for that one five foot yep. square. Makes sense. Um, so that's that's uh, twenty. So that's twenty. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I'll actually. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to look around. That's Ready? it. Ready? Yeah. Ta -da. Oh, fine. <laughs> I look back at Molly, giving her a nod. All right. That's it. We're out of combat. Um, there, it has now grown eerily quiet. Um, the dead, you know, just just destroyed bodies of these of these creatures, or it's litter the the floor where you've slain them. Um, it's mm -hmm. really quite a mess um, amongst all the rubble. Um, you don't know what these were, but you can tell they were once um, they were once uh, regular. You know, humans probably nymphs that that lived, um, you know, in this in Braladar. Um, I'm just going to open up the rest of this so you guys can explore at your leisure and tell me what you want to do. But it's all open now. <gasps> Stairs. <sighs> So um, you see in here, just to give you an idea, um, as was described to you before, this fort, um, you know from having talked to people about it, used to be a setting off place for adventurers going to, you know, into the countryside, um, into Graladar, traveling both to the north and to the south. This is sort of a gateway and it guards sort of the, the pass to the, uh, to the mountain range that, um, that leads into Graladar proper out of Port Gawatch. And um, so you can see in these two rooms um, what appear to be ruins that are that are really quite decimated. That the fort, you know, is at least a thousand years old, if not more. And um, there's very little left, but you can you can see some rebels um, of what appears to have once been furniture of some sort. There's some broken bottles. Um, you see an old lantern that still appears to be um, maybe not serviceable, but at least recognizable. Um, and what else do you see here? 
Um, you see some broken bottles. There are a couple of bottles that still, a total of five bottles that still appear to be unbroken. And if you guys will let me know what you want to do. Richard, is there any roof for any of the rooms? Uh, they all have roofs over them, yes. All right, this place has potential, guys. <laughs> a little floor scrubbing, maybe a little polishing here and there, yeah. Picking up yeah, taking out the trash. No, we, we can hire uh, some of those uh, refugees and feed them with whatever. And, uh, <laughs> just have the place clean. I mean, this is our opportunity to, to do some good to those poor people. Yeah. Hmm. As long as we know where the creatures who were here came from, so they might come again. We don't know where they came. Um, give me a perception check, please, Eleanor. Eleven? Uh, perception of eleven. Hmm. I also um, investigated using twelve. Oh, you're, you're doing investigation too. What's your passive perception, by the way? Not that perceptive. Uh, zero. <laughs> Oh, you must have, no, based, based on your wisdom, um, hold on a second, take a check here. My wisdom is zero, so modifier. Uh oh, I see, you have no, you have no modifier on it? Yeah. Okay. So you pass it. Okay, it doesn't help you. Um, well, Aaron, you see in front of you, um, some blood stains, uh, in front of you, right in front of the stairs. Yeah, please. Mm. Do I know if these are like, uh, I don't know, human or like the creatures we just, we just met or like? Uh, maybe you can call over Elvin and have, ask him to take a look. He's right there. Elvin, please come here. I found some blood here. Oh, I see that. Oh. Let me inspect. Let's investigate. Yeah. Investigation. Investigation. Insight? Uh, no, it would be investigation or probably investigation. All right, let's roll my glorious minus one. Yes, oh, <laughs> it, it this is like blood one. indeed. It looks like blood. Yeah, you agree. Yeah. <laughs> you both found some blood. Um, okay. And you can both roll me. Oh, actually, you already did. Uh, Elvin, also give me a perception roll. Who, who, who rolls the perception, Richard? Sorry. Uh, El Elvin. Elvin. Yeah, I already got one. Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, perception. Mm, I feel something strange around here. What could it be? No. Nothing. <laughs> you notice that the stairs, uh, down the stairs, appears to be dark. <laughs> oh, yes. The stairs go it, down, by the way. You also it, notice they go it down. It deserves a closer look. Let's have a look. <laughs> no, wait, wait. We need to Eleanor, check the right one. what do you think? Let's check the right one first. <laughs> Eleanor, can we pass through this area? Yeah, yeah you, you can pass through. So okay. let me describe what, what things are. So right here is um, what appears to be an old lantern. Over here is some ruins of some furniture. Um, right here is where the bottles that are mostly broken are. Um, in this room over here, it's really, this appears to be more of a, um, like a clothing. So this, this room may have been more of an equipment kind of room and this room more of a clothing and gear kind of room. So here you can see very little that's left that survived over, over a thousand years, but you can see remnants of fabric, um, some, some, uh, poles that perhaps could be tent poles. Over here, on the other hand, you see some rotted ropes um, and some rusty pitons and things of that nature along the bottles. So things that don't look totally destroyed, um, pretty much the only thing that you see are these bottles in the lanterns. They are empty? The bottles, there are, there are a total of five bottles that are not empty. And we don't know what's inside of them, right? Sir? Do I know what's inside? Like, what uh, kind of liquid? Uh, let's see. You could do a roll. Um, I guess I'd have to ask you to do an arcana roll. I'm looking over Eleanor's shoulder. Oh. Okay, it's a 10 and a 10. <laughs> um, are you trying to finish this? Are you, 
are trained in that arcana too, aren't I, you? Yeah, because I'm a researcher. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, so there is a squarish kind of, uh, three squarish kind of uh, small bottles um, that the, the bottles are quite old and ancient and the glass is, is incredibly ancient and you don't know how they survive as long as they have. Um, but the liquid inside um, looks very similar to the liquid that Dr. Sotonos gave you. Is the liquid what? Sorry? The liquid inside the three bottles yeah. looks very similar to the liquid that Dr. Sotonos gave you the second day you were in. Uh, oh. The other two um, are smaller, uh, almost test tube-like, um, but sealed. And inside you don't really know what it is, um, but it's misty. It's kind of a it's kind of a misty, whitish, vaporish looking substance, not so much of a liquid. Interesting. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna carry these bottles back with me. They look dangerous, but they look important as well. So. Three of them look uh, like I don't uh, remember this. I got from the doctor. They were like for healing, was it? For Okay, three, that's the first three bottles were the same as the ones I got from the, from the doctor in the hospital, right? So they shouldn't be that dangerous. I don't remember, sorry, I don't remember that part. You can talk to your, your companions and just let them know it looks familiar and ask, ask them <laughs> to help your recollection. Okay, I mean, Elvin, do you remember, uh, do you see these three bottles over here? Do you mm -hmm. remember them? Yes, remember, well, What kind of liquid was that? Looks like we we had some from the hospital before. Okay, I need to roll an insight here to to remember a bit. Uh, I remember. Ah, yes, indeed, it really looks like uh, what the doctor gave us. Uh, shall we try? It looks safe. Um. Well, uh, you first. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So give me the one that looks like the doctor gave us. Yeah, sure. There you go. There are three of them. Okay, I take uh, half of it. Um, I think it's not. I mean, it's very little liquid in there. So oh. if you're gonna try it. I think it's sort of an all or nothing kind of thing. Okay, so uh, I'll take everything one gulp to prove him that uh, everything's all right. Yeah, brave man. Um, okay, roll me a d4, please. Uh, okay. They're doing something bad here. <laughs> it's a free. It's a free. Uh, you. Oh, roll me another D four. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, it's a four. You get nine hit points back. Oh. Um, oh. Um, everything is fine. I told you. <laughs> cool. This will be helpful. I'm gonna carry them. I don't need to drink now, but. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, so these are like the medical supplies that he gave us, and he said like he was short, so he only gave us, I think, one each or maybe, like that. Yeah, maybe we should bring this to him. Uh, uh, just to clarify, the bottle does not look anything like the bottle that Dr. Sotonos gave you, just the liquid inside them. The mm. bottle looks quite, quite ancient. Mm. Very, very ancient. Oh. He used this a long time ago. This Ford is over a thousand years old. Does it taste good or it's a taste It tastes good. I, I don't know. I mean, what, what, is an, what does an elf consider a good taste? Mm. It, it, is, it has a slightly minter, minty aftertaste. There, 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 there are hints of nut and, uh, and black walnut and uh, a little bit of plum. Yeah. It's also, got a bit of a tannic, you know. Uh, mm, mm, I could taste some uh, accents of strawberry uh, yes. in the end. Yes. yes. Mm, you're absolutely right. I, I got an idea actually, Elvin. I'm gonna get these, like the other two bottles that we don't know, the test tubes, kind of like thingy. We have to. I'm gonna just carry them back to the hospital and ask actually Dr. Jonas about it. Like maybe he knows what's inside. That's a good idea, you know. Yeah, so let's just take them back and let's actually meet with everybody else and tell them about the stairs rather than going alone, just in case. And then it just moves down towards where the others are. 
Hey, Molly. Hey. Is he okay over here? Can you get rid of everybody? Uh, I mean, the old guy is here with me, right? Well, he's a beer, so I'm not sure if I can talk with him right now. Yeah, the bear is just sitting down in one of the corners and just taking a rest. Yeah, cool. You guys clear things up here. There, we found some stairs going up. Do you want to check it upstairs, just in case? Sure, no, down. of course. Well, Elvin, um, Elvin discovered the stairs are going down and they're dark. It's down, yeah. Oh, it's down? Okay, sorry. Then, okay. Can I go down? Yeah. I mean... I sneakily, I sneakily. Let me roll stealth. <laughs> what did you do? I failed, but I ride the horse, the the, the beer. <laughs> oh, you want to climb on me? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Guys, come, come, come. Uh, hold on. Well, I don't know if I recognize you on my back or not, but I'm just gonna move here and just take a look around if there's anything interesting. Um, in that room, uh, roll perception. Oh, or investigation, I guess, if you're actually actively looking. Uh, I don't think I can, like, do much with my bear claws, so I'm just going to look around, rather. Okay. I guess investigation is probably just rummaging through stuff. I yeah, I think, I think it's more of a detailed kind of thing. It's sort of yeah, more, yeah, I'm not very detailed. Something. General perception. Um, you look around, it just looks like, um, and, and from the smell of it as well, it just, everything looks very, very old and rotten, and... and Nothing that you can see that's really cool. Huh. Okay, well, Chuck Tester. I guess uh, I follow Eleanor with uh, Molly on my back. Eleanor's so excited to find something downstairs. We didn't find any valuables so far on the sides of this portion. Uh, 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 Molly? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, are you going down the stairs? Yeah. Oh, it looks very interesting. Well, does it fit a bear, or should I uh, switch out of bear form? You could you could squeeze down there about the same way you'd have to squeeze through a door. Okay, uh, then I'll... Only, only, you know, no one else can fit a breast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll I, try. I have my uh, dark vision. Do I see, start to see something downstairs? Uh, make a perception roll. Perception. Perception. I concentrate briefly on roll 15. Oh, okay. So actually, I'm gonna try to go stealth as well first. Yeah, 24. Oh. I'm going stealthy. Well, the bear doesn't stealth. So Why good not? luck with that. Why not? I mean. I'm, I'm joking. Don't don't answer <laughs> me. <laughs> so I, I I don't see anything uh, in the darkness. You see this? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. More stuff. Ah, oh, cheers. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. This is the. Uh... New trick that I learned yesterday of copying and pasting the Yeah, paper. that's really useful. A huge time saver. These human bones. Okay, bones. Mm. Huh. Um, Do I see? Yeah, so here you see, uh, and I guess Elvin spots this first, you see a, a pile of bones um, on the uh, ground. Oh, um, and uh, I guess everyone will perception as well. Could I do smell instead? You could do smell. Because I'm trying to figure out if there are more of those um, thingies that were upstairs. Yeah. Um, okay. 19, 22. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. We got lots um, of wow, okay. Let's start. Uh, 21. 21. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're all very sharp, a lot of you are. Um, so, Elinor, okay, let's, let's actually start the other way. So, um, what do we have? So, Molly, your attention is sort of down the corridor that you see um, heading down these slight 
uh, small set of stairs into the darkness and you just hear uh, noises of badness. <laughs> just, just, you know, some, some whales in the distance and, you know, just stuff that gives you a very, very uneasy feeling. Um, I'm going away. <laughs> definitely stuff in there in the dark. Um, Eleanor, as you're going down, you're, you know, basically on the lookout for, for, for treasure, more or less, I figure. Um, but you don't see that, unfortunately. What you do find is a, um, another um, drop of blood. And with this drop of blood, you see a small finger, severed finger. Mm. Anything like a ring or something attached to that finger, or just a finger? <laughs> Says the thief. No, mm. there's uh, no ring on the fi on the finger. Um, it just looks like a non non beast like. It looks like a you know a sort of a a, a normal humanoid finger. Oh, um, well, yeah. small. Any hand close to the finger? <laughs> uh, no, everything else. The other. Uh, uh, body-like objects in there are just bone. There's no flesh okay. on them. Okay. Um, you can in investigate them more clearly, but basically they just sort of like piles of bones that are somewhat, no, I mean, they're not, they're not ancient bones there. Hmm. They're not all that old. I, oh. something is eating humans around here and it's probably still inside. They're not alone. Okay. So let's get ready. I ready my my bow, not to be surprised, and uh, starts to to move stealth stealthily further. Yeah, I'm stealthy oh. as well, so I'm just gonna follow them, and you can see. Let me roll my stealth to see how stealthy I am. I believe this is now back to five feet. Right? Yeah, this is back to five. Feet. Wow! Wow! This Double is, critical hit. This wow. this the critical number. GM, okay. uh, Molins. Yep. Honestly, scared. So she really hides behind the beer. Okay, you're hiding behind the beer, so you can do and you do a stealth action, so you are hidden. As yeah, a, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, is it a double good. twenty? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's a serious hiding. <laughs> okay, um, Elvin is is uh, quite stealthy, and Eleanor behind. Where are you? Or you're also quite stealthy. So, is the bear rolling still? Oh, hell no. The bear is staying where the bear <laughs> is. <Yeah. laughs> and he doesn't even see these two stuff away, so he's just like, okay. Uh, yeah. Please be with you. I think I will, Eleanor is going to whisper to, to Molly before going, we are going to scout ahead and come back and tell you what we find. Okay. Thank you. Ah, you mean with me? Sorry, I misunderstood you. No, you're going, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay, go, go. Well, we are going ahead, so we'll, we'll come back and we'll find something. We'll just get ambushed, but hopefully not. Okay. Now, Elvin, can I go ahead? No, oh, yeah, sorry. Um... All right. Yep. Is Eleanor doing the scene from the Scream movie, like, I'll be back? <laughs> That's a flag kind of thing. I'm not sure you can really see this far in your dark vision, but I'll light it up anyway. Oh. Um, so can you see this this um light? Yes. Here? Yes. So that's uh, that's the door. The doors were hard to see in this dungeon, so I've marked them. So that's a closed door. Okay. Thank you. Closed door. Okay. So progressing up to the door, so we can inspect it. Okay. What are Purvis and Molly doing. Oh. Staying there? Yep. They said they will come back and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they said they're scouting, so... They're scouting ahead. Well. Okay. Yep. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, so, what do you do? Uh, I'm inspecting the door first. Lesson and button. Okay. Uh, give me... Uh, what, do you, what, what are you inspecting it for? <laughs> um, I want to see what type of door, if it's closed, if it looks sturdy, if um, um, it, it has been opened recently, um, okay. if it's uh, crumbling. 
So basically, without even ruling, you can see that it looks like it's an old wooden door. Um, it's still standing, um, but it does not look terribly strong or sturdy. Um, okay. It's like, you know, basically just a door to a room, kind of. Um, cracked and chipped and very dusty. It's not rotting because it's still, it's very dry. Um, but uh, it looks like it's... Um, it, it could crumble without too much force. Okay, we are pretty stealthy at, the, at this moment, so yes. we we are. We, I want to go further uh, into the corridor to okay. see what's ahead, and then maybe come back to the door a bit later. Okay, so you go up to the corner. Uh, yeah, Eleanor will try to hear if there's if she can hear anything behind the door. Uh, just throw. Okay, uh, give me a perception rather investigation. I did investigation. A Sixteen. I, give me a perception though, since you're doing hearing. Okay. Perfect. And I don't hear anything. So you don't hear. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So you look down the corridor, and you see. Oh. Okay. Another door there. This uh, we, goes. We don't see the door, Richard. You don't see the door. Sorry. It's over here. It's over here. Ah, uh, this? Yep. I see. Okay. And this seems to go to a dead end, which appears to go off either to the left or to the right down there. And mm. this appears to go to one side that way. Okay. Right. Uh, check that door again. This is, a, this is a dead end, or does it go like a right? From here? It, it does appear as you go down that way. Do you have dark vision? No. You do not? You, yeah. you better get behind Elvin. Yeah, I'm gonna go behind Elvin. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Elvin, go first. Okay, I go first. Use my dark vision to inspect. Okay. Um, you do see that it turns? Do I roll something, Richard? Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you're gonna see that it, it turns the corner here. Mm. Try to listen on that door again. Perception, right? On this door here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, mine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem. Crazy. And the door looks very similar to the other one in terms of the age and the type. Okay. Is, is it locked? Uh, you could try it. And then, no, like you said, it could crumble, but is it already like is it unlocked or is it locked as well? It's not locked. You could try it. There's a handle. You could try to open it. See if it's locked. Okay, let's try to open it uh, slowly. Ooh, are you good at this, uh, Eleanor? I'm turning to him. We can take a peek, not exactly open the door. Like if it's yeah, open, yeah. We can take a small peek, basically. But the thing is, I can't see the dark, so. Ah, I see. Uh, maybe you can open it uh, slightly, and I can try to peek in. Ah, uh, yeah, I can do that. As a thief, I can do that. Okay. So I'm gonna use my thief tools and uh, check the door if it's locked or not. I have proficiency in that. Yeah. Okay, sure, you can examine it that way. Uh, go ahead and... Sorry. Slide the pen. Uh, 12. It does not appear to be locked. Okay, so looks like it's open. Try and open. Okay, give me a, just a, a d20 on dexterity. Okay. Also a dexterity check or just... Yeah, just, just a dexterity. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yep. You open it easily. Um, a lot of dust comes down as you open the door. Um, okay. Let me also roll. Okay. Can we? Can I look inside? Oh yeah. Sorry. Yes, I need to reveal this. Looking. I can't see anything. Um, so you see the corridor extending that way, and there's a. Turn off here. You can't quite see much further than see. that unless you open the door the, the rest of the way. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go back, Ilona, and try to not be uh, surprised by anything in your in our back. What do you think? Sure. Do you want to check uh, just this down there to see how far this corridor goes as well? Oh yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Go ahead. You go first. Uh, Find anything we can just run run back to everybody. 
you see it um, opening up and it looks like it opens up into a larger room here. Give me perception checks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get a perception. Uh -huh. 15. Oh, 15. All right, you hear movement in that room. Okay. Um, can we hide? You, you could get behind the corner over here, and then you would be, sorry, over here, and you would be hidden to that room because you're behind the wall. Okay. Um, you can't hide where you are, but you're being stealthy. So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm it depends, stealthy. Depends on what their vision is. So if I'm stealthy, actually, I, I want to progress more to inspect what's in. Sure. Just what let, is me, this? let me just remind before you do that. Um, just, just, uh, and someone can jump in if I'm wrong about this, but I believe the way that stealth works is that um, if you are if you go into somebody's vision, um, then you will be seeing if they're you know looking in that direction, they're paying attention, as opposed to hiding. Ah, uh, okay. Thing. So you lose stealth when you move out of hiding into somebody's vision. So where you are back there in the dark, you may or may not have been spied at thought, you don't know. But I'm just letting you know that the way stealth works, um, you, you can't just walk in front of somebody within their within I their thought it was pretty dark, Richard. It is pretty dark. It is uh, pretty dark. Have, it's like dark where you are. Okay. Uh, I, I signal to Eleanor to do back uh, to ba go ba backward a bit. Yep. And we hide behind the corner and try to wait a bit if uh, we hear more movement towards us. Um, okay, yep, so you wait, wait, give me another perception check. Uh, perception. Um, you don't use, uh, Eleanor, Eleanor, you don't hear, you, I mean, you hear the sa same sounds that, that Alvin was hearing before of movement going on in that room. Um, but you don't hear anything coming towards you, and Elvin, you also don't hear anything coming towards you. Okay. Uh, let's go back, Eleanor, and uh, close the corner. Here. So I'm leading Eleanor because um, I have dark vision. On, yeah, I think uh, Eleanor is sort of like holding your hand. <laughs> behind. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, do your fifth magic on uh, this door. Okay. Another Okay, you can tell that it's not locked. Okay, it's not locked. I'm going to open it a little bit so you can take a peek as well. Okay, so give me another dexterity check. Yeah, I'm going to stand on this side of the wall door just in case I can run back to it. Uh, another check on dexterity? Yep. Okay. Okay, um, and you can open the door a crack, no problem. Um, let's see, which way does it open? I think, I don't know. Um, I think it opens this way. You see a crack uh, this way. And That's it. It opens up into a room inside. You want to open up more? You can open up more. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, Elvin, maybe honestly, like, if you want to look inside, you probably want to move here. Then. Sorry, I, I just didn't hear. And I'm, I'm talking to Elvin, like, maybe you want to move here so you can see more because you're standing away from the door. Yeah, it's just, I just got the impression you just opened it a tiny crack. That's why I only revealed a little crack, but it, 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 or it, I'm not so strict on where he's standing, but just want to understand how wide you're opening the door at this point. Okay. Um, it opens right to the right. The, the Try to listen the again. Do you listen something? Do you hear something inside? Um, what kind of uh, investigation is that? What kind of uh, perception? Perception. perception. Okay. Uh, uh, so you're both listening. Um, it seems quiet in there. I open it. So I I tap on uh, Eleanor's shoulder and uh, I start to move inside. Okay, so you open the door more. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do we have here? Um. So what you see in front of you is um, 
what looks like a sarcophagus, a stone sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, that's it's really just the room. It's a dark room, small stone room. Um, there's just pillars on either side of the room and a sarcophagus here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go in. Okay. Um, we'll mm -hmm. With Eleanor, we try to remove uh, the stone of our sarcophagus. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, did you say roll initiative now? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that's what I hear. <laughs> that's Push what your I hear. luck. Push your luck. <laughs> My God. I hear that. A vampire. <laughs> we woke up a vampire. <laughs> that's right. Don't remove the cover. Not yet. Uh, so late. Um. Okay, we can run maybe. <laughs> what do you think? Guys? Yeah, except that it surprised you. It's uh, okay. Uh, where is the initiative? It. Um, so let me see. So th there's this um thing drops out of the ceiling. Of a ceiling. Yeah. Okay. On top of this pillar, and um, it is um. Ah, uh, 22 initiative. Okay, not bad. Do we also get it? So, uh, who, who is it? Oh. oh, what the heck is that? October. October slide. <laughs> oh. Okay. And it drops, and it, it sort of drops on top of Eleanor. Oh. Um, All right. What is the initiative of this thing? Uh, it's got surprise on you. Um... Let me just read this book quickly. So it can see in the dark. I mean, we aren't using any lights, so... Trust me, it could, it could sense you. Trust yeah. Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I oh. this is automatic. It's got to be attack. It's going to be automatic. Um, can we try to slash it or to... to yeah, it's, to... Got, it's got advantage. It's got a surprise, so it's going to go first. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's good. I guess I'll do an attack. See, uh, it's um, 21. Wow. Uh, I think that beats your armor class, uh, Eleanor. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Okay. Um, so it, it dropped down on top of you, and it's like a rock hitting your head. Um, and it wraps itself around your face. Oh my god. It does, wow, mind bludgeoning damage. It's sucking my blood? No, it's not sucking your blood, but it's, uh, what is it doing? It's like crushing you. It's like crushing your skull. Oh. See, so it just wants to kill me. It doesn't want anything else for me. Okay. So. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's much nicer than the thing from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. I, took ten, I took nine damage. Okay. Let me roll initiative for it, and then um, we'll see where it falls. Um, right. Okay. Um, and it is Elvin's turn. Yes, so uh, uh, I'm not going to shoot it with uh, my bow because it's uh, a close on its own, uh, Eleanor. So I draw my two sword and attack it. Uh, try to try to 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 remove it without um, behaving, uh, Eleanor. Um, so happy you can see in the dark. So I have two short swords that should be. Uh, Appropriate for that. Attachments. I think what you find. I don't say anything about this. It's really annoying. Um, it is attached. All right. So what are you trying to do? You're trying to. It's. It's. It is a um, small creature. It's not tiny. So it's. You. You could potentially hit it. Um, it's got to okay. be built. Got to be built into its armor class. So go ahead, go ahead and swing and see if you hit it. First sword, oh. second sword. Okay. The first one hits it um, right along the tip and does not hit Eleanor, and the second one um, glances off of its stony hide and does not appear to do any damage. But the first one does pierce and make a chip into it. A chip? Yes. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not like it's made out of stone, but it's like, it's, it's like very stony kind of flesh. Oh. 
Uh, what was that? That was seven damage. Okay. Um, okay. That is your turn, or you, you can move still if you want to. Um, no, I stay on top of this thing. Okay. Um, Eleanor, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna reach to my daggers and try to attack it as well. Okay, All right, stabbing yourself in the head. <laughs> yeah, um, so you are blind, though, basically, I think, because it's on your face. But I, I can, um, I know where my dark, face is. So, yeah, and you can't breathe, as a matter of fact. You're blind and can't breathe, so you can attack, but you've got disadvantage on the attack. Okay, fine. I got two daggers, so... Yeah. First dagger. Uh, and, wow. and second dagger. Uh, so a nine and a six. You 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 strike at it, um, the but you um, yeah. You, you, the first one doesn't go through, and the second one um, is very badly. You almost drop it, but you manage to hang on to your dagger. Um, and you are starting to suffocate. Uh, you can reroll that one, can't you? Oh, can you? Yeah, I can reroll one. Yeah, go for it. Oh, no. oh, what? oh my god! I do you know that. <laughs> Someone screenshot that. Yeah. Well, that's so sad. Ah, uh, that's better. No, okay. you only get to reroll one time. All uh, right. Okay. You need one one time to reroll for the luck. Uh, uh, the lucky? Uh, I think is, is that, isn't that right? That's, yeah, uh, it's just roll, once, uh, once. Once. Yeah. 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 Ah, you must you must use the new roll. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone take a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Do, do I get sneak attack because I hit it now and my ally is next to me within five feet? Or well, sure. you only get sneak attack if it, if it hits um, anyway. But I, I, I hit it. Uh, the first dagger hits. No, no, it didn't because it's a uh, it's a disadvantage. So the first one was a nine. Oh yeah, I and forgot about that. Six and a six and a six. <laughs> and okay. by the way, you don't get this. Uh, I think you don't get sneak attack if you have disadvantage. But that's just oh, like, that right? I think, yeah. Yeah, it might be right. Uh, yeah, or one of my lies is within five feet. So yep. but but in that case I didn't hit it anyway, so that's yeah. why I uh, well we gotta check that too about the disadvantage thing for another time. But um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to use an object. Using, I think you uh, use your bonus action for your second attack. That's that's oh, oh yeah, yeah, because I'm attacking the store. Sorry. Okay. Yep, no, no problem. You do have a movement. You can try and run around. You can't see, um, but you could move if you want to. Uh, it's on my face, right? Yeah, it's like it's like covering your head. It's like it can see, think. Of, imagine like an envelope. I'm sorry, a umbrella that that you were holding above you, and you just like closed it on your head. Oh, that's yeah. even better. Okay, I'm gonna run towards the, the the wall. I'm gonna pump my head into the door, basically into nice. the wall, basically. Nice. I'm okay, gonna pump, roll, pump my head into that wall. Roll. Um, Roll a dexterity. Oh, you can roll acrobatics if you like. Twenty-two. You managed to do it. Okay. Um, give me a uh, D four. Okay. Yeah. You uh, you <laughs> you hear a good thump. Um, give me a um. Another D4, we're going to call it a D2. I want to see if you injured yourself in the process. I don't think so. I should do it. Okay. Fine. One. They take one point of damage. Okay. Actually, no, it was in half. No, sorry. That, you rolled a one? No, you don't take any damage. You don't take any damage. I'm sorry. Uh, is it off now? Sorry? Is it no, off my head? No, no, no. It's not off. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Oh. So it took some damage or something? Yeah, it took a little bit of damage. You, know? oh, okay. uh, you, you felt it shift on your face. Um, what is the rule for suffocation? You can't freeze. Got that here. Where is it? Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not good at this one, but I think I assume it's survival. <laughs> but 
I'm not doing extra rumble. So. No, no, that you don't, you're not doing a skull track. Um, suffocating. Okay, what is your constitution? Constitution is fourteen. Okay, so you're okay for the time being. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so this thing is going to. Did I just lose the comic tracker? I always do that. Sorry. Sorry, guys. My wife. Was just oh. No problem. Okay. Um, so it's going to attack you again. So I'm going to have to move you a little bit because it's on top of you. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Did that sacrifice is a smooth? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to it so I can <laughs> access its there we go. Character sheet. Okay, thank you. Sorry. All right, it attacks. It tries to crush you. Um and it What's that? Crunches. It's it's so powerful. Yeah, it's doing really uh good rolls. Okay um, guys, I'm almost dead. Crunching your head. Uh, Another like, seven damage. That's seven, right? So, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you screaming out? I, I can't freeze. I can't scream. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> metal. Whoa! Whoa! Well, I can't hear that. <laughs> I just hit my head against the wall as well, so I should be like, you know, drowsy now. Uh, okay, your turn. Okay. Um, I want to. Oof, oof, oof. To take um, Eleanor on my shoulders, and uh, no, I'm not strong enough. I won't be able to do that. I'm uh, halfling. I'm, I'm very uh, okay. small. So I grab him by the leg and uh, put him uh, on my back, and I run um, towards um, the entrance. Um, okay. Um, I guess give be... me a uh, give me an athletics check. Athletics? Um, I'm not good at athletics. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't quite get him onto your, you know, in, in, a, in a position where you could really run. Um, okay. You could. Um, so I, I'll let you try again for your for your action, which will only give you your dash action for for the running. Um, or you could give up and uh, still have your action to attack, and we'll just call that your item in your action. I'll try. I'll try to grabbing a next next turn. I'm going to to stab this thing out of frustration. Okay. Uh, just one attack or two attack because I, I have to... think probably just one. Okay. Try this one. Twenty-four hit nine. All right. Yes. Um, this. I thing... have... I have one D8 uh, oh, right. because I have uh, Colossus Slayer. You do. You do. Oh. Oh, okay. one. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Y it looks like it is really, really injured. Um, it is uh, barely hanging on. It's now, oh, you open up enough of gash in it that you can now hear Eleanor gasping. And you now ah, good. He can now breathe. We um, got you, Eleanor. We got you. <laughs> looks, um, that looks very hurt. Finally, I can see again, but I can't see the dark, anyways. <laughs> right. At least you can breathe. Um, and Eleanor, it's your turn. Is this thing is it still here? It's still it's still on you. I, I can I can't have it on top of you while um and still control it, so I move it to the side. But it's still on you. But there's it's there's now a gap in it. Yeah, I'm gonna attack it again with the first one. <laughs> and the second one. Yes. Yes. Well, let me see, you might hit it with both. Hold on. You hit it with both. Oh, cool. Um, so you do, uh, you, you pierce through it with one, you pierce it with another, and you sort of like shift the bit on both sides, and you can now lift it off like, like a hat, and it uh, squirms on the blade as it shivers. And it's death row, and then lies still. Oh, is it dead? It is dead. Yeah. I'm gonna just sit on the floor and see, catch my breeze. Yeah. I can't, can't breeze. I look at Eleanor, and uh, uh, I, I burst into laughter because it was uh, ridiculous to <laughs> be attacked by this thing on his head. 
when I How hear dare laughing. you laugh at me? How dare no, you laugh I, at me I like just, that? I pat you on the on the shoulder to to take this with good humor. <laughs> Next time, let's be careful. I think we should call for everybody before opening that sack of prayers. It looks dangerous enough already. Oh, you wait, hear I something need, approaching. I need to heal actually because I'm almost dead. <laughs> Uh, take some of the bottle that uh, yeah, you have. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to drink both things. Uh, one is nine hit points. Is this correct, Richard? I'm sorry? The, the bottles we found, uh, like the healing uh, bottles we found upstairs, I have them on me. Uh, I got two left. There's two left. Yeah, and Elvin drank it last time. He got nine hit points. So I'm going to try. Rolled, yeah, you, you rolled for it. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. I roll for it. What do I roll? Are you, are you drinking them? Yeah, I'm gonna drink, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's drink one first and see what happens. Um, yeah, so two die four. So, so you know one support? You get, uh, six hit points back. Yeah, I'm gonna drink the second one. So another one. And another four. Another six hit points. Another six. Okay, so and if... and total. If Elvin is laughing out loud, then uh, yeah, first he's just gonna start running full speed towards the left. Okay. And then yeah, I, I would follow. So you guys hear something coming? Cover, take cover. I'm not getting attacked by one of these things again. Okay, I take a peek outside, uh, right on left, and I see them probably. <laughs> <laughs> Is it safe outside? Yes, it is. The bear is looking at you like, what the fuck happened? I almost died. You guys were in there to save me. Okay, let's do this a sarcophagus now. Really, Eleanor is gonna step back because, yeah. GM, if the oh. arrow is in bad condition. Say it again, I'm sorry. I, I guess Eleanor is in a bad condition, right? Can you uh, describe me? I just healed myself with a healing potion. So, technically, are you fine? I mean, I have some blood on my face, but but hit points are okay for now, I guess. Back to 20 hit points. Uh, am I poisoned or anything by this thing? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm okay for now. Thank you, Molly. Welcome. So the bear looks at Alvin in a way that do you want me to raise the sarcophagus kind of face? Yes. All right. I'll do the thing uh, that bears do when they try to uh, rob the the outdoor rubbish bins. Uh, stand on both like uh, hind legs and just try to. You know, stick my clothes uh, in between, like the lid and uh, the rest of the sarcophagus, and just give it a table flip. I uh, give me an athletics check. I guess. Okay, easy, easy, or easy. Or... Yeah. yeah. Oof. Wow. Okay. Ooh. You knock the uh, thing. Nice. Off. I can't make you feel anything on that. That's okay. I can't. I can just do this. Oh. Inside, you see um, a body, uh, a, a skeleton, the remains of a body um, that looks uh, um, like it was once dressed in some sort of uh, a adventuring gear, perhaps. Um, and uh, it's lying there in the coffin and as you're all watching uh everybody roll perception you know you jump and you're very jumpy these days because considering what just happened um and molly's generally jumpy at gen all times you hear a sliding um of stone uh on this wall behind you <sighs> And, oh, nice. Um, give me a second. Sorry. Okay. Let me 
a door slides open. Whoa. Nice. Um, from within this room, a ghostly figure steps forward. Oh, Jeez, kawaii. I'm very kawaii. She's from a Japanese anime. Yes. <laughs> and she says, Oh, I, I see you you have uh, come to, to visit me. Thank you. I, I don't get many visitors here. No, no, no. <laughs> hello. Fire yes, baller. yes, hello. What's your name? Uh, I hardly remember my name. It's been so long. I am the guide master of 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 Fort Gawatch. Oh, uh -huh. who are you? Um, we are glorious adventurer. We come from uh, the seas. From the sea? Oh, from across the sea. That's you. You are of those that I that I guide. Um, into the, the wilderness of Greladar, uh, or, or at least I used to, uh, when the land was not in pain. Mm. How can we help you? You look so beautiful. Well, thank you. I, 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 I don't feel beautiful. I feel, I feel nothing but pain. I, oh. I, I had been sleeping again. Uh, but after after a long, long time, when I was here by myself, when the land once before was was hurting as it is now, but but again I was awoken and and for some time now I have been here feeling feeling the pain of the land. Mm. Uh, what is disturbing the land? I I I don't know. Uh, I, it feels like the same as before. Is it, the land is is beautiful. It, it is pure. It is of spirit. All the races here, you know, they they all live side by side. The the nymphs, the centaurs, the elves, the dwarves, even the orcs. We all live here in harmony in in Greladar. Uh, we were all in peace until the darkness came. It was spreading. There was terror and pain and blood and death and, and nothing but chaos. And at some point in the middle of this, I, I, I suppose I suppose I was killed. I, uh. I remained here for, uh, for forever. Uh. And I felt the pain of the land until slowly it healed and I was able to sleep. Uh, the bear points at the ghost and then that and then at the skeleton, and then looks back at the girl. And the girl um, uh, turns to you, and you can now hear the girl speaking inside your head, um, ghost power. And uh, she says, yes, uh, I, 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 that, that is me, I suppose. I discovered that some time ago myself, and uh, it's not easy to look upon, um, but that was once me. So, so, uh, Fervis, you can speak to her. You can't speak to your companion. But you can ask questions. Oh, okay. What language? What language is she speaking? Uh, she, 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 it almost, it seems like she's speaking within your head. Um, so it's, it's Ooh. common as far as you're concerned or, um, halfling, you know, if you prefer, it's just, it's, it's a very, it's very recognizable to you. It's halfling, really. We all understand what she's saying. Uh, you all understand what she's saying. Yeah. In your own way. She speaks the universal language of common. Uh, so why um, are you here? Why, why, why are you trapped here? I cannot rest while the land is in pain. The, the land is my spirit. I, I, I treasure it. And I, I think that I cannot rest while the land is in so much pain. Uh, I was able to rest 
until recently. Um, but now again, for a second time, I've been awoken. Uh, did uh, these creatures upstairs of, uh, awake you from your dream? Uh, these creatures are, are, are just a symptom. They're a manifestation. They are, they, are, they are blisters of the illness that plagues the land. Um, they are nothing. Uh, they, they, they do what they do, but the, the sickness, the, the pain is much deeper than that. How can we stop them? I do not know. I hope you will find out. That will be the only thing that will allow me to rest. Uh, do you remember when you have awoken? Is it recent? I was awoken first many, many, many ages ago. And I, I wandered these halls in pain for I do not know how long. I imagine it was centuries until the pain started to fade. And then I think I slept for a long time uh, and I have not been awake long uh, this time. I see. Do you know what is this place? Well, we are, we are in uh, the fort in Fort Galwatch. This is where I resided. This now is my office where, where I used to do my work to prepare for the journeys and, and prepare the guides for, for taking visitors mm -hmm. into the wilds. Um, so I know these halls well. Could you guide us? Unfortunately, I cannot leave this, this room. Um, oh. I tried recently, I was able to before, but I do not seem to be able to now. Uh, so you're saying that uh these creatures, they're ill. Uh, I suppose there is no cure for this illness, correct? I do not know. Uh, once before I felt this pain after I was killed, uh, but the pain lasted a very, very long time and grew much worse before it got better. I see. Now I feel the pain is coming back. I don't know what the cure is. Do you remember how you were killed? There was maybe, maybe like now there, there was uh, terror and pain and and evil that was causing the the good beings that I considered to be my friends. They they were changing and it became worse and worse. And there was a great battle here at the fort and many were killed. I, I know, I remember fighting. Uh, I, I'm not a fighter. None of us were really fighters. We are, we are uh, a peaceful people, but, but our brothers and sisters um, were attacking and everybody was fighting however they could. But some that had come more from the north and the travel tier seemed to be worse. And it was one of these that I remember driving a blade into me. I was able to imprison at least one of them, but I was overwhelmed. I suppose that my companions laid me here as their guide master for, I assume, they all perished as well, eventually. I see. Well, uh, I'm sorry that I made you remember the day of your death. Uh, the, um, th does she look like a nymph, right? Uh, yes, she does look like she a nymph. She's the nymph, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, I, I would like to ask her, uh... Like you said, you are, these creatures are a manifestation. A manifestation of what exactly? Like what is the main problem that these things appeared outside? I don't know what, as these creatures are, what, what has happened, but they, 
the 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 pain and the disease that is infecting this land is changing its inhabitants and turning them and turning them into something horrible. So and, is he saying it's yeah, sir. No, no, go ahead, please. Like this is like the thing is outside where once humans or like normal habitants of this island. The thing is that we just fought outside. I, I don't know what you fought outside, but I know what I saw when I was killed. And I think from what you're describing, it sounds similar, although I tell you the, 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 the few that, that I fought at the end uh, were most ferocious. Oh, how do they fight? The one that killed me, killed me with a great blade right through my chest. That's painful. How did they look like to you when they attack? Uh, most of them were of, of creatures that were, you know, my friends uh, and, and, and brothers and sisters. They were the, the creatures of, of Greladar. Um, there were nymphs and centaurs, uh, elves, dwarves. I believe the one that finally struck me might have once been an orc, but I don't know what it was at the end. Okay, uh, like uh, I was trying to ask, like, is there something that we can, like, before some, somebody transforms into that uh, situation, is there like a mark or something that when you see it, you know that they are going to, you know, transform into these beings? Or is they just like turn bad suddenly? I don't know matter. anything about a mark or anything. Are they, they, I, all I know is that our, our, our fort where we work and live together was attacked and we did the best we could to, to fight these creatures off, but we, we could not prevail. Um, everybody give me a... Okay. Ah, yes. mm, uh, history. Story. Okay. History. Story. Nope. History. Yep. Yep. I did not go to school. Nope. Um, Eleanor and Molly, um, something strikes you as not quite right about something she was saying, something about the inhabitants of Graladar. You can't quite put your finger on it. Mm. Um, but, but something struck you as being different than what you remember about the history of Galadar, which is not all that clear because Graladar has been, you know, uh, secreted. It's been closed for, for centuries. Um, but you did get some information, uh, you know, from the captain as you were as you were traveling across the ocean, something doesn't quite line up. Okay. As a background, I'm a sage. So when I attempted to learn or recall like a piece of lore, if you don't know that information, you know where or from whom you can obtain it. So do I know like where or when, like did I see or hear that information at least? Again, you, you, you sort of recall that, that just from the, your travels here as you were preparing your traveling to Graladar. Maybe perhaps it was on the ship, something somebody said to you while you were, while you were sailing on the ship um, that you just doesn't seem to line up exactly with what you've just heard about what Graladar is supposed to be like. Mm. Mm. What was the captain and... Uh... Some crew members, I guess there was a, I don't know, there was a guy that we spoke on the ship. He spoke of Fervus. Hmm. There was a guy who spoke to Fervus on the ship, if I remember correctly. But I can't really remember the. So she says said. to you all, um, I. I cannot stay in this form for very long. I, I, I'm afraid I will have to say goodbye. But before I do, I, I can tell that you are trying to, to do what you can to, to help this land. And I, I really sincerely wish you the best of luck. And please, I hope you prevail um, to help you 
in your journey, please, there are some trinkets that I left behind, which did not unfortunately help me in this battle, but it did, they did used to help me uh, in my, my tasks before. Perhaps you will find use for them. Uh, please have them. And with that, uh, she fades and she says goodbye. <clears throat> I watch the team and they say he talks. Bye. Hmm. You for everything. She sounds nice. Yeah, but something is off. Well, I'm a bear. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. Um, where was the trinket? <laughs> she didn't tell you. <laughs> you can look around. Well, the you bear know. looks in the in the sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, give me a investigation. Oh no. The bear is not good with investigation. Oh no, well, actually. Investigation. I'm gonna try to investigate as well. Yeah, nope. Um, <laughs> well, we... a zero. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we... well, how can it be a zero? <laughs> I don't know. Elvin manages to hide the things that you were supposed to find, and so now you don't get them. <laughs> Keep trying. Right. Somebody else? Mm. Uh, Molly, it's investigation. It's just a yeah. uh, no. Molly won't look there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't want to look anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we are going to carry Molly up to the. Well, even who did a nine? All right. Anyway. Yeah, you carry him. Don't, don't worry about. It. All right. You find this uh, inside. Um, it's a bunch of bones that you find, but as you're sifting through the bones um, and uncovering. The, the pile of dust that Elvin's kicked up, you find two things. An old pendant. Huh, another one. Oh, and what was these pendants? A huh. pair of gloves. Um, do you pick up the gloves? Sure, why not? Who said that? Was that, was that Eleanor? Yeah. Um, you pick up the gloves, they seem sticky to the touch. Ah, sticky fingers. Yeah, fine. They could help me steal stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Um, let's see. Elvin, give me... Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, hold on a second. That's a compass rather than a pendant. Is there a compass inside this, or just like a? It looks like a compass. It's true. Yeah, okay, like but it's not a decoration. Yep. Um... Um, give me an inside check, Elvin. Yep. Um, it looks to you um, somehow related to nature, perhaps. Oh. is your impression from your ranger background what is related to natural Richard sorry the, the, com the compass pendant it's ah, okay it, it, it strikes you as something related to the outdoors mm. okay um, guys if you don't mind let me have this uh, I will try to figure out what it is uh -huh. okay sure no problem I'm taking the gloves uh, a DM, I just uh, opened up uh, Nemea's pendant just for comparison. And uh -huh. I just realized that Nemea's pendant is like a shark tooth, is that? Some it kind is. of tooth? Yeah, okay. Cool. They're very large. But yeah, yeah, it's. it's well, like it, yes. Anyways. All right. Maya, you could, uh, when you're not a bear, could, could tell you more about it. I mean, yeah. I probably could tell you more about it. Yeah. Okay, where do I put the pendant? Is there a place? Uh, yeah, do you want to put it around your neck or? Yeah, yeah, it looks cute, nice. Um, okay, actually, I will go ahead and give you this. Um, as you put it over your neck, you feel somewhat enlightened. Um, hold on. And you should now see it in your journal. 
Oh, where should it be? In my it's up to you if you share that with the others or not. It's up to you. Uh, all pendant. Is it all pendant? That ah. not the... I see. I see. Mm. Uh... I feel anything when I put these gloves on. Um, okay. Do you put them on? Of course. Um, okay. Um, in my journal, you hear a disembodied voice. Kill them. <laughs> Your hands rise. Kill up. them. <laughs> uh, I'm not familiar with uh, this feature. Where do I see it in my journal? How do I look at it? It should this? say amulet. If you go to. Ah, say... okay, okay. I okay. see. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes, I do need this guy. It's, it's I feel I feel more uh, a ranger now. That's fine. What <laughs> what I used to be in uh, my uh, previous uh, life on the old continent. I feel new adventures are waiting for me now. You are a power ranger. <laughs> you are a power ranger, my friend. <laughs> no, I'm I'm feeling more more something yes um right. yeah. as alvin is like amazed by his amulet is there anything that happens if i step into this room uh no, no you see you, you're still okay um it's just it's just uh, a bunch of sort of ruined furniture again uh right. and a desk i just smell around the room and then i leave okay. yeah yep. nothing there that you all right so nothing happened when I put these gloves on. I'm guessing yep, you can check your you can check your journal too. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh no, this uh, appears in my characteristic return, or is uh, no? Let's it? we'll work on that after after the session. I'll, okay. We'll get that fixed, but we, we'll have to do that manually for now. Oh, I see. I'm sure, there's a way to do it. Okay. Uh, okay. I think Fervor's caught scent, so he's going to do the bear smell thingy and just start walking out, keeping his nose to the ground. Oh wait, wait, wait! Give it, wait. Give it a perception on your on your nose, either investigation or perception. All right, I stop. <laughs> uh, nose perception. Sure. Hmm. You get dirt in your nose and you sneeze. Uh, do I? Uh, with the 22? Oh, do you have advantage? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. You see, you, uh, you smell blood and you then, but smelling it, you then see uh, some small drops of blood. Oh. Right about where you are. Okay. I look back at Eleanor. Like what? Um don't don't turn left. Don't turn left. Okay. We, we, we don't then know I turn what's... right. Before you go forward, um sorry, real quick. Uh go back to where you were. It's okay. It, we need to deal with the light situation. It's oh, okay, 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 okay. Unless you've got either a way to see or if um Molly's um spirit is there in which case. oh yeah that's true it's well then i stop here because really... i can't see oh okay molly your spirit now is in full spirit form right so she's fully bright i assume yes oh. uh, depends as long as we are still within one hour i think it's one hour duration. yeah yeah you are yeah all right well, okay very good so you before can, i'll see then as long as you're you know within a reasonable distance before we proceed, we just inform you that uh, there's something down there if you turn left and take another left, I guess. There's a huge room with something inside. Oh, okay. Well, then I go right. Okay, we didn't investigate that far. Well, we, we followed. Okay. Is that like a log um, in the it's middle? It's like a broken door. It's like oh, a it's a broken, broken door. door. Mali, right. do you want to go in front or behind? Which 
I mean, I'm under the impression that you guys scouted this place, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open the door and step in. No. So we didn't look there. <laughs> it's it's safe. The door is broken. No problem. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, Hold on a second, guys. Oh, I love follow us. Where are you? I try to observe uh, what's uh, in our back to okay. to cover our idea. back. Yeah. yeah, watch our six. See what can you see? Um, so that is where Molly's spirit is. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. Okay, so from there, you can sort of see this. Oh, okay. You know, a bear. All right. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Um, and uh, looks looks back at the spirit, kind of. Hmm? <laughs> All right. Go inside. Walks back yeah. and uh, tries to make eye contact with Molly. <laughs> okay, I move the spirit. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Um, oh, you guys can move up there, but just don't move the spirit or don't, don't move past where they are. Yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so you're there. So. What you see charging down the corridor at you. Oh, um, hello. Yeah. What are these? Oh, what? that's a new one. Is this on is this right there? That's on right there. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, is this like a, a corridor, small corridor wave? Is this a wall? Oh, it's in Pro the it's in there. Okay, there we Probably. Go. Looks like a niche. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, roll initiative, everybody. Woohoo. Oh, sorry, let me get the tracker up real quick. One sec. And clear it. Uh, I don't think you need to. Yeah, probably not, right? Well, maybe. This guy you haven't seen before. Yeah, I see. He, you. Looks, he looks a little, um, perhaps a little bit more burly than the other ones. And he's putting down a piece of uh, flesh that he was munching on. Why am I seeing a tracker? He's hungry. I can attack on Python. Yeah, that does look like Shingaki no Kyojin. You don't see the tracker? I don't see the tracker. You don't? No. I'll Are just... You... Uh... Do, you, do you have it? I, I can see it. Maybe I'm... Oh, here it is. I was just off the screen. Alright, let me... Uh... Is this your current initiatives up here? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, um, what's this? Oh, 20. Oh, fast. Oh. oh, that's mine. Uh, I actually have a 24. Oh, yeah. There we go. We go first. Oof. Okay, um, it is very strong. All right. Uh, well. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Bear's gonna, well, if uh, he's getting charged, he's gonna charge back. Uh, moves here. Kind of. Okay. And uh, I guess go for the biggie. Um, bear foo all the way. Uh, Uh, so, oh, okay. dirty it's 20 it. to hit. Okay, so you hit with that. What, All this right. Is your, that's your 
bear foo or that's your uh that's the bite so the bite, bite i'll try to bite i don't know i guess his shoulder okay. or what well may maybe his waist if that's in like line sure uh so that's 10 damage and then i critically fail i drop my claws <laughs> <laughs> okay. i don't know is anything bad happened to me gm no, no. okay and I miss my character chop as well because of the yeah okay. Does it? Uh, and you miss that too. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. All right. So you hit him, uh, bite him squarely in his hip. Um, the you basically rip out a big chunk of flesh from his hip, and this icarish, dark icarish blood comes spewing out. Huh. And he's he's definitely hurt. Dark uh, icarish again screaming at you but he's still standing okay neat next next uh it is his turn he then looks at you and <laughs> screams right in your bare face yep um and it will bite right back at you oh it's a bite off okay uh, but it misses i assume uh <laughs> yep, it does, yeah. Okay. Mm. That is its turn. Uh, Elvin. Okay, I hear some uh, problems up there, so I'm going to bypass uh, those nice people. On Oh, I see what's going on. I take my bow on uh, one or two arrows and fire at this thing. Okay, which one are you shooting at? The big one that is injured. Um, okay, it's going to have partial cover. Um, from? So it'll be a plus from, two from, from, from the bear, the giant large bear that's in between it. Ah, I see, okay. Uh, and I guess this is like stairs, right? So I kind of went up the stairs here. That's also the point. I see, I, I see, I I see. Wow. So long you bow. Can see into the room. It's a 24 minus 2 for the cover. So 22. Uh, it's, yeah, well, plus 2 is arm class, the same effect. Yep, you still ah. hit it. And um, I have. Uh, it, it goes down. You, you, the, the air goes right past the, the bear's ear and <laughs> into its the, uh, the creature's neck, and the creature falls. Yeah. Okay, chance. bear, bear, we got your back. Your tail. Uh, I mean. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. My Ferris looks back if someone is holding his tail. <laughs> yeah. Where is Ferris when we need him? Well, he's taking a vacation. Um. Mm. Oh, sorry. It's this one's turned. Um, all right, it flashes out of the bear. Okay. Yeah. 14 is the AC. What's that? Uh, my AC is 14. Okay. He needs to beat that. And yep, oh. he beats it. Five slashing damage. All right. Teeth uh, sink into your back leg. All right, all right. No worries, no worries. Um, and that's its turn. It is Elenor's turn. Okay. Well, only these guys remaining now. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go inside and try to hit it with my bow then. And I'm gonna shoot it oh, with my wow. bow. Oh, it's like, uh, is this two 10 feet again? Did you say this map is 10 feet per square? Oh, this is five. Oh, sorry. I draw a square instead of a uh, roller. Sorry about that. No, because I, I moved from here. So from here to here is like 10 feet. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to draw 10 feet and from here to here. So I can go up to here actually, but I can't attack it directly, I guess. So I'm just going to yeah, shoot this in the bullseye. Mm. Show ball. And it's an 18 and it deals 6 piercing damage. And yeah, well, I think sneak attack is going to trigger because the beer is next to it. Yep. Uh, let's take it back. Is that true? Oh, here it is. Uh, that's uh, 15 damage total. 
you obliterate it. Um, your arrow just uh, disintegrates its skull. And it collapses. Just one comment. Is it possible to see this thing without dark vision? Uh, you don't need it now because of Molly's spirit uh, sets out light. Oh, okay, very good. Um, so okay. that's why you're able to see here. Okay, so it's clear vision. Clear. Yes. How can I remove that square that I put by mistake? Oh, select it and delete. Select it. Um, all right, everyone, give me a moment, please. Uh, just change it to, yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. So, we can move inside the room, I guess. Molly, you can't come. Uh, yeah. Everyone, give me just a moment before we do too much more movement. I just need to get ah. caught up here. Okay. I mean, I cannot see any further, I guess, so I'm staying there. But I guess we're not out of combat. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Molly, give me a perception check, please. Okay. You hear what sounds to be a faint pounding noise coming from the east or the north. You can't quite tell the other east. I move away. <laughs> oh, I yeah. yeah. Either 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 somewhere there or perhaps uh, perhaps up I don't know if you could see that up this quarter somewhere. You can't quite tell. It's just somewhere over in that general direction. It's mm. very faint and it's sort of like uh and it's not it's not rhythmic. It's sort of every once in a while a, like a like a bassy kind of pounding. So I move here, I touch Eleanor's shoulder. And then I point there. Uh, are you telling me there is something over there? Okay. I, I shrugs. Okay, I can't okay. really see in the dark, so I just tell Elvin. Okay, Molly says there is something towards that direction. She hear something over there. Let's go and investigate. Okay, right behind me. Actually, I can't see because the spirit is here, actually. So. No, no, there is the spirit, the bright oh, yeah. spirit. Yeah, so you can actually see her. Yeah. I'm going to follow you. Okay. Getting my bow ready. Okay. Investigating. Um, so, okay, so you can see you have dark vision, right? Yeah. So you can see that this continues down in that direction, and this appears to be a wall here. Okay, so there's nothing in front of us. Let's move there. Okay, second. Um, so now it's the this. Which appears to go this way and this way. And Elvin, give me, and uh, Eleanor both give me perception checks. Perception. Oh, well, there's definitely something there. You hear pounding, and it seems to be coming almost directly to your right. All right. To your right. Pounding. Somebody's like hitting behind, something? Behind that wall. Almost, hmm. Somewhere over there. Okay. Perhaps it's around the corner. You're not sure, but it's somewhere. It's not, it's not down here. It's more like somewhere over there. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious. What are Molly and Bear doing? Bear is using a bonus action to heal himself, because as a moon druid, I can use a spell slot to heal myself. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there goes my spell slot. Yeah. I feel better. <laughs> and then I move. <laughs> Because I was hoping to roll high on that. Oh well. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, yeah, maybe here. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Um, bear, give me a perception check. Bear, give. Okay. 
And Molly uh, uh, Sure. Well, Molly did already in the Nice. Oh, you didn't know. Okay, so you're both, you're all now hearing this pounding, occasional, like, uh -huh. and it definitely seems like it's coming from somewhere. Well, I don't know if you can see that because it's in the dark. But it's oh, we can, actually. Okay, over there somewhere. And hold on, I can reveal this area because now Alvin's over here and there's a door. Okay, there's a door. Okay. What's the door look like? Uh, very similar to the other doors. Okay. Pounding. Mm, how do you feel about it, Eleanor? Uh, the door is not on the door, by the way. It's somewhere, somewhere now more to your right, more to the south. Here or here? Uh, yeah. If you have to say, yeah, somewhere down here. Uh, Hey, I can open the door a little bit and you take a sneak peek inside and tell me what you see. Uh, okay. Okay, I will try. We try to do it stealthily. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Um, so you're able to crack the door. Um, and who's peeking? I guess Alvin's peeking inside, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Again with a crack. Okay. We see anything? That's it. That's all of the crack unless you open it more. Of course I open more. Okay. Um, all right, you open it all the way? Uh, no, slightly more so I can have better vision inside. You can put your head inside, but that's too dangerous, I guess. Yeah, it's <laughs> something chops uh, off your head. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do a dash to the northern corner, to the top um, east northern corner. Yeah. Stuck. Okay, so suddenly Elvin takes off over there and Elvin is able to see all of this. Uh, not anybody who doesn't have dark vision at this point. Um, Elvin, roll initiative. Oh shit. Uh, just one thing, when I move like this, I move with my uh, bow. Um, sorry, I wanted to, to mention. I move to my, with my bow in the direction um, of the south of, uh, of the room. Okay, so your bow is pointing that direction? Yes, so uh, I, that's what I'm, I'm doing, just a minute. Sweat team like this. Uh, yeah. So I get, I, I suppose I get a surprise. No, you just no. Have to roll an issue. Okay. Damn. You got this one on one. I'm not sure about that. Okay, initiative. Well, actually, if it moves towards you, I can attack it from the back, which would be Eight. nice. You okay. can't see anything from there, um, Eleanor. No, I can. I can hear. I'm a thief. You can hear, but you're <laughs> going to be blind. But you could. I mean, yeah, you could try. If you hear something, you can... Okay. Try. Um, okay. So, um, I guess everyone else can roll initiative, too, since we're now in movement action. Oh, okay. So, Bear and Eleanor initiative. All right. Bear it here. Ah. Okay, Molly, I'll let you go ahead first then. You sense or something, you heard you heard Elvin dashing this room and you heard him sort of um, yelp with uh, surprise as he dashed in the room and saw someone staring back at him. But I, I can't see Elvin, right? Yeah, all you know is that you, you Elvin was up around that corner. Oh yeah, you can't, you won't have seen him dash in the room, but you heard yeah, him right? yelp. Yeah, right, this corner. You know he's over there around that corner. Can I, can I not skip, but uh, decide to act after another character instead? Is that possible? It is, uh, 100%. I just don't remember how it works. I, so, think, <laughs> I think it's, um, I think what you have to do is, uh, I think there may be more than one way to do it. But the way I recall is you, you basically have to ready an action and you have to describe to me what the trigger would be. And then what you would do. Okay, so I, I, my ready action would be to follow the bear 
and support him, whether I have to attack or defend. Depends okay. on the situation. Okay. okay. I'll let you do that. Um, so you're going to follow the bear in, and I guess if the bear is attacking something, you will do the same thing? You will yeah, attack the same thing? Uh, I won't use my claws. I will use yeah, my yeah. fireball, probably, <laughs> and I will move the spirit with me. Okay. <laughs> good to be clear. Okay. Um, good. Okay. So that's your turn for now. Yes. Okay. For now, yeah. I'll uh, just remember, remind me when that happens. I'll forget because I'm taking it out of the order. Okay. Um, okay. It is this creature's turn. I'll share what this looks like just for everybody's um even though not everyone can see but i won't remember to do it later oh uh, okay um okay and it uh sees you it's it was when you walked in the door i can't move because these these unfortunately these squares are not aligned perfectly uh -huh. but it was um staring intently at this wall. It was sort of like facing that wall and just like staring at the wall um, when you when you dashed in. And then it saw you dash in and now it's turning and it is charging you. Okay. So it moves to here and it will... Oh, oh shit. By the way, if you guys move around your tokens with Alt, you can place them without snapping. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it uh, lashes out at Elvin uh, with only an eight. I assume that does not hit. No. Sure, not hit. Um, and so it misses you. And that's all. Okay. It's growling. Um, okay. Um, okay. It is now the bear's turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I also seen Elvin here and then just ran inside, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I see. I see. Don't worry about the exact precise. Yeah. Most have to I think I can control. move until here. That I was like. Turn off. Let me turn off the uh, grid on this thing. Give me one second. So uh, that's okay. Yeah, actually, it... I'll just do that real quickly. Okay. Uh, where's the grid? Uh, uh, grid disabled. Okay. okay. You should nice. Now where do you? Okay. Uh, we can use the the square the squares that are in the map. Okay. Coolio. Well then, uh, yep, so. here. Uh, I guess I have to jump over Eleanor or something. Um, I this is one of those cases where I don't <laughs> think you're going to be able to. Um, yeah, you take up just too much of the space, and even though Eleanor is small, I, I think yeah. you could do it, but you'd risk trampling. Yeah, no, no, I'm just gonna then, then stop here. I was like, mm, which in bear means move. <laughs> <laughs> think for my turn, and then since I prepare my action to follow him, yep. I see him not moving. I will move here, and I will move my spirit immediately behind me. Like this. Okay, and you're looking at a giant bear butt. Yep. Mm, very sexy. <laughs> oh, thank uh, you. Okay. Tell <laughs> it. Oh wait, did uh, I do anything? Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, your turn's next after. Oh, yeah, your turn's next. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, Great. so my arrow was ready, and uh, I suppose I can just uh, release it as it came close to me. You can release it here. It's it's the right up on you, so I think you're gonna have disadvantage on the roll because you're point blank. But but the thing, uh, Richard, uh, that uh, I was trying to do is uh, to dash in the corner and uh, having an angle, a, vi an, a vision towards the end of the room. Yeah. So I could uh, f shoot my arrow. That's uh, SWAT. Uh, uh, I hear you. Uh, Unfortunately, it got a higher initiative roll than you, so it moved before you you had the chance to to set up a, a reaction like that. Um, so he was not expecting me, was he? Yeah. It, it saw you as soon as you came in the room, so it, it, it reacted to sort of the same time you reacted, but it, it reacted a little faster than you so it's right up on you now okay so i drop my uh, my bow on and yep. pull my swords okay that's fine that's an item interaction that's fine you've got your swords 
And uh, do I get uh, to attack him? Yes. Okay. Do it. You still have an attack and a bonus attack as well. Okay, so attack plus bonus. short sword one, short sword two. Uh, that's it. Uh, and uh, they both glance off of this thing's uh, very tough hide. Yeah, and I, I spit in his face uh, yeah. <laughs> the bonus action and tell him, him, I will go down for the glory of my ancestors, you evil beast. And it sort of opens up its giant toothy maw and sort of gives a laughing hiss at you. <laughs> nah, yeah. Okay. Um, oops, I did that again. Sorry, guys. What? Ah. I turned off the tracker. I always turn off the tracker. Turn off. Um, okay. Uh, Eleanor, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm just going to go inside the room and slash at it with my daggers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, one. Do you see anything in your know that's uh... uh I hear. Basically uh, I, I saw something moving. Ah uh, okay, like, like an ninja. In front of the... Yeah, because it, it moved in front of the wall with attack you. So I'm just like following. Okay. And I saw I saw where you go anyway, so I went yeah. following the same direction as you. Understood. Yeah, you can see in there. Um I'm just wondering if it is pitch black or if you have a little bit of light in there. If it's pitch black, I'd have to give you disadvantage. Um, with a little bit of light, um, you wouldn't. Um, so I'm going to say you've got enough light in there for because I uh, know oh the bear's in the way. Yep, the I'm blocking it. The bear's blocking the light. Yep. All right, so you have disadvantage on the roll. So 12 and sorry, um, your daggers go wild in the dark. You're flying, flaying in the dark. So both of 12 didn't work as well. Uh, yeah, no, both of them, both of them missed, unfortunately. You get the sense where it is, uh, sort of, but you just can't quite connect with it. Okay, I'm going to uh, use uh, fast hands, and I'm going to prepare a torch in my hand. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, you what? I'm going to prepare, I have a torch, I'm going to prepare a torch in my hand, but I'm not going to light it. Uh, you can keep, uh, where, where, where do you keep your torch, though? Uh, and you're holding two daggers. I don't think you can do that, to be honest, say, because you've got um, two daggers in your hands. And I think your torch is probably in your backpack. Um, it's a use an object action. So what, what should I do? Can I, can yeah. I take something out of my bag? No, taking something out of a backpack actually takes a full action. Taking an item interaction is free if it's like throwing a switch or like drawing a sword. That's it's like on your belt. That's that's a free action. Uh, item, mm -hmm. item interaction. But taking something out of your backpack actually takes an action. Um, and you also okay, have to okay. yeah, 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 okay. it. Okay. Um, so I think yeah. you, what you can still do is uh, so you've used both your your action and your bonus action. You might have some movement left. I think you do if you wanted to move anywhere within that room. Uh, you know, another however much of your movement you have left. That's about all you could do. Yeah, I'm gonna move here. Okay, you take a step backwards. Yeah, you sort of feel your way along the wall and fade backwards. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh. Molly, it is your turn um, with bear butt. <laughs> so uh, same as the, can I see these from here? From you this can see nothing but a giant bear ass. Okay, okay so bear, I will bear ass. Delay, delay my action again as, uh, as, the, as the previous turn. Okay, same kind of thing, got it. Yeah. All right. Um, you can, is your spirit do anything? I don't know what your spirit can do. Can actually, actually, yeah, he can fly. So you uh, can get actually, across above. Yeah, but I have a question. Yeah. Actually, I definitely heard them fighting, right? Yeah. So no, actually, I won't delay my action. My action. I'm, okay. I'm an alfling after all, so I will pass here. Uh, can you do that? Can yeah, definitely I can. I, I, this is the, uh, let me copy it. Uh, is this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a threat of Elfling. They, they can move uh, between the legs of, uh, of a character. Yeah, I guess that's right. All right, it's difficult to terrain. So it takes you uh, 10 to do the five. So is this creature facing Eldon? Yes, a, spa a spot in his face. Can you move diagonally in this map? Yeah. Okay, so I can avoid getting attacked, right, by doing this. 
So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that would be 30. And I stop here. Ah, this is 30. If it's 30. Uh, because because the going through the bear was was uh, difficult for me. That, that's okay. okay. You're it's it's a little bit further up. You're not right next to it there. Okay. It's, and it's then here. seeing this creature. Uh whoa, whoa, whoa. let me have a so, sorry if I'm taking time and getting used to this character. Uh I guess, I guess. Yeah, why not? I will cast this. So okay. I need to do three hits. I need to roll to hit. And that's my spell attack bonus. So D20 plus five, three times. So this is the first. No, second, maybe, and the third one, probably. Two of them. Okay, the one that hits each two, two d6 damage. But can you see in this darkness? Oh, technically, I will move my spirit. Yeah, I didn't declare it. Yeah. Technically, I will move my yeah, spirit. Yeah, you should move your spirit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So it's five and twelve. Uh, for the damage, okay. Um, Seventeen. Oh, two. Okay. Then um, I will use my bonus action for um, the spirit. Custom. Okay. With the fire so anyway, you do support it fairly badly. And nine more damage. I and, so it. Yep, I got you. Uh, it is looking. Quite blackened. Um, you definitely appear to have heard it, even though the fire doesn't quite seem to blister its skin as you would expect. Uh, uh, I hate almost... this. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I got 13. Wait, sorry, 13? I guess if it's half the mage, it's 13, right? Yeah. I just made the total. It was 26. Wow, uh -huh. that wasn't nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Really. really. <laughs> I'm out of level two spells. Okay, I'm done. Um, okay. Good job. Um, it looks definitely hurt. All right. Surprised it didn't kill it. Unfortunately, um, I am. Most of the creatures here are resistant to fire. Mm -hmm. You picked the right subclass. Yeah, <laughs> but I liked it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, all right. It looks back at you and growls at you and comes over oh. to attack you. Oh no. Oh. Elvin. Uh, opportunity attack Elvin. Kill this yes. Kid. No, he will kill me. Why I have there? two daggers, away. my two short sword and one and two. You only get the one though for ah, okay so the one 19? 19. 18. You stab it in the back right between his shoulder blades. It rears back. Hold on, hold on. Oh I have 1d8. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Eight. Oh, my God. And it, your, your sword sinks all the way deep in between its shoulder blades and pierces out through its chest, almost hitting Molly with a tip. Oh. Um, and it falls to its knees and then to its side, dead. Yeah, I told you, oh. dirty beast. Oh, my God, I'm super scared. Die, die. Um, Molly, uh, sure, I will never do this again. Perception? Yeah, uh, Molly yeah. and uh, well, oh, yeah, everyone through Molly and Elvin and Elena. It's an 18 for me. Okay. A 10 for me. Okay. Everyone, Andrew? Perception. Okay, so um, all of you still hear this pounding noise, and Molly, you're pretty sure the pounding is coming from oh. inside that wall. I guess I I check whether the the wall is a real wall, at least on this side. Okay, give me an investigation check. Sure. Investigation. Nine. Yeah. Um. I don't see any. It's a chest. It is, is a chest. chest. There is a chest in the room. There is. So the thief is now focused on the chest. So it's only Molly looking at the wall. Um, Molly, you did, the wall does appear to um, be 
perhaps suspicious. I think maybe you just get a sense that it's a bit suspicious and there might be something to it. I see, but I can't find anything myself. No, no. I look I look at the team kind of suggesting with my eyes, please do something because Okay, let's do let's check yeah, the chest uh, first. I'll check the chest first. Sure. Uh what are you doing with the chest, Elena? Can I investigate it? Eh? All and right. What do you what do you investigate again for? Uh, uh, I investigated it, it... the wall, sorry. Oh, you just, you're, on, or you're looking at the wall. Okay. Um, so for the chest, uh, Eleanor, what are you trying to examine? Uh, is it locked or is it open? Uh, it's closed. It's closed. Um, and, but uh, from your thief training, you think it's probably not locked, but you're not entirely sure. You might have to test the lock. Um, Elvin, you look at the wall and you do detect there seems to be some creases around the, 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 the wall and sort of a door-like shape. And you notice there's um, some sort of a symbol on the on the door, sort of in the middle of it. Um, small uh, symbol etched into the stone, diamond shaped, about um, about four inches uh, across on each side. Oh, guys, look at this! So I point to the diamond shape uh, symbol on the door. What do you think? I watch the beer. Mm, um, I'm gonna shove all close. Smell it. Nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I punch it. You punch it. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, give me a str How hard do you punch it? I don't do me to roll. Just tell me how hard you're trying to punch it. Oh, full it's strength. It's not gonna cause you damage. You don't. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know. You're not gonna hurt yourself. But are you trying to punch it hard? Or you're just trying to punch it lightly. Oh, uh, well, okay, let me first just give it a poke. Okay. It feels like a stone wall. Okay. What, what are you I... punching? You're punching the, the, the diamond shape uh, etching or you're just the wall? Mm. So there, so you said there's like a silhouette or kind of like a door looking thingy. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like oh. there's there's uh, some lines that, that appear to be out, the outline of what you oh, perfect. Your, yeah. Take a couple of steps back. Yep. And charge the wall. <laughs> okay. Don't um, hit the wall too hard. Yeah, yeah just just head first, full on. Try, try and butt it. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. And you make a booming on the rock as you I like this rock. bear. And it makes this sort of muffled booming sound. And a moment later you hear a boom right back. Huh. I'm seeing trapped inside this wall. And then you hear a boom, 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 and it gets harder and harder and like more violent on the other side. Uh huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Molly stepping back. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, since everybody's interested in that wall, I'm just going to go use my sea stools and try to find where the lock is, where is the mechanism to open this wall. Uh, give me an investigation check. Nice. Your slip of hand? Which one? Uh, uh, investigation, because you you got to okay. first of all find a lock. Okay. Um, okay. You don't see anything like a lock. The only thing that seems to be that you can see on the wall, uh, as the others, is this sort of line, or, which is sort of looks like an outline of door-shaped outline in the stone, and this diamond-shaped um, etched symbol in the center. But you don't. The etched symbol does not appear to be any kind of uh, a normal lock that you're. That, that is uh, anything that you're uh, familiar with. Okay. Does, it look, does it look like it's, I mean, the shape is inside the wall, like all the feet putting a diamond there. Yeah, it's like a diamond pattern etch. Actually, Eleanor, give me a uh, arcana check. I forgot that you had that. Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm a researcher. I'm just not used to that from a thief. Um, <laughs> Molly, did I answer your question? I guess, yeah. Okay. Okay, thirteen. Um, so yeah, you, you, you're, you, it does appear to be some sort of um, a rune of some sort. Um, but it's not like a socket, like a, something to put into. No. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not like a socket. Just like a. Um, just uh, like a, uh, uh -huh. a rune kind of shape. 
that was the one I was looking for. So good. Thank you, Roberto. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't understand the question the first time. Yeah, that's right. And the bear points at the chest. Yes, open the chest. <laughs> okay. Did, did I read about this wound before when I researched it in the library? Or something? No, no. You just get a, a sense that it's some it's something purposeful, um, but you don't know quite what it is. Um, okay. Sorry, somebody's opening the chest. Here. Yes, open the chest. Open the chest. Okay, I'm gonna step back. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna hold the model. Oh well, if well, I can open the chest then. Uh, I'm sure. with the bear here. I opened the chest. Okay. You, you open the chest. Inside are piles and piles of shiny coins. Oh. Okay. None of uh, them look familiar to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, if well, I put my bear paw in it, like try to feel if there's something else in between the coin, you know, just. Just if it was like a river, just put my paw in it. Uh -huh. ksh, 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 um, everything. Uh, yeah, give me an uh, investigation. Oh boy. It sounds like a mimic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there could be something inside. I'm it's probably cool, upsetting yeah. a mimic right now. No. <laughs> I can't roll good on investigation today. Um, you got a pretty good investigation check for a bear. I, uh, yeah. Yep, you, you, don't, you don't find anything that way, no. Uh, okay, Eleanor sees the gold and she's like, "Oh my God, this the fortune!" Sure it's, it's shiny coins. You're not quite sure what it's made of. It's shiny made of coins. Gold. Does it look valuable? It does seem to uh, connote value. Okay, Definitely I'm looks right. Antique. I'm right on top of the chest now. I'm taking this back. It's uh, it's a lot of weight. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm gonna fill my pockets as, as much pocket. as possible. Yeah. Okay. Can we spill it on the floor? Yeah, you can spill it out on the floor. Okay, that's what I do. I I just kick it with my uh, yeah, with my two legs probably leaning against the wall and kick it on the floor. Um, give me an investigation check. Investigation. There must be something in there. With advantage. Investigation. Not so good. Oh. I'm gonna get a lot of like... coins. Yeah, let me investigate why not. I'm, I'm, I'm taking everything inside my pockets. Oh, it's a, never mind. Damn it. Shiny coins. All it's have lots of shiny it's just coins. coins. Uh, uh, I, I, I shout at Molly. Molly, do you want some coins? These are worth a fortune. Money, money. Oh, I say no with my head. I, so. Okay, I'm going to take it all. Yeah. all right, I, I try to pound the wall a couple of times with my paw. Uh, you get the pounding answer back. Pounding answer. Okay. It's, it's mm. frantic in there. Boom, 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 boom. So, okay. GM, GM. And, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I can break the game. Let me check something. Sure. What are you? Are you a dwarf? <laughs> Secretly a dwarf? No, no. Another one player break the game. Great. Uh, I need to check the description of the spirit powers. Uh, Ian, how many how many coins can I put, put in my pocket? That's asking. Um, you can basically take. It's more of a weight thing, so you'd have to check your encumbrance. Um, but you could carry up to your encumbrance in coins. How heavy is one? Coin? Okay, no, I can't. I can't break the game. Never mind. Oh, your spirit uh, cannot go through walls. No, I I can't teleport, but I have to see actually. Ah. Uh, uh, it's now eleven twenty. Um. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to keep going or you want to, you want to break it here? Actually, I'd like to stop here if you don't mind. Uh, I want uh, to break the wall. Uh, no. <laughs> I know it's exciting and very curious. Just... Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know. Um, thank you guys very much for playing. Do you guys, do you guys want to play the next one on Sunday? I told you I'm available. It works so for me if you guys are. Sure. Play a long one.